this Aurelio Isip and welcome to Isip na yan. So for today's topic, we will talk about problem solving, no? involving the factoring of polynomials. This is part one. No? So, ang, yung mga topics na uh, include ko rito, no? yung, ito yung common monomial factor and the difference of two squares. No? So, gagamit uh, ano tayo ng problem solving about these two topics. Sample number one, no? so nakalagay dito, no? what is the length of rectangle with an area of 3x squared plus 30x squared units if the width is 3x units so hinahanap natin dito yung length no so una what is a rectangle how to get the area of rectangle so ang, ang rectangle for example we have a rectangle here no ang area niya no para makuha natin is the length times the width no so l times w so yan yung area niya so ang given dito if the area is length times the width, yung L ay length, no? Ngayon, <clears throat> ang area natin nakalagay sa given is the 30, sorry, 3 x squared plus 30 x equals the length, no? Yung ating hinahanap. And then, yung width natin ay 3 x, yan yung given. So, hahanapin natin length using the common monomial factor. So, ang common monomial factor, no? In getting the common monomial factor, kung hindi nyo ba napapadod, no? Andito sa taas, panoorin yung common monomial factor. And then, ang gagawin natin dito, no? Ipapactor natin, hanapin natin yung CMF nyo, yung common monomial factor. 3x squared, tsaka 30x. So, <clears throat> ang 3x squared, pwede yung pag-ibahiwala yun, no? x and x. Yung 30x, pwede siyang 3 times 10, 3 times 10, no? Times x. So, ano yung common sa kanila? No? So, meron tayong 3 dito. So, susulat natin dito 3. Multiply natin. At meron din tayong x dito, no? So, x. So, 3 times x is 3x. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung common monomial factor sa kanya, no? And then, ang gagawin natin dyan, i-divide natin, no? So, 3x sa bawat term. Ayan yung pinapag-aralan natin sa common monomial factor. So, 3 x squared plus 30x no? i-divide natin siya pag-divide sa kanya ay over 3x over 3x so ang mangyari dyan no? so parang mga cancel yan ang matitira na lang dyan is x no? so 3x squared x na lang matitira, isang x na lang and then dito ang matitira is copy the sign plus 10. So, x plus 10 is our length. So, meaning, ang area natin is 3x squared plus 30x. Ang width natin is 3x. Ang ating length is x plus 10 using the common monomial factor. Number 2, no? If a dozen of apples cost 3, 36x minus 60 pesos, how much does an apple cost? No? So, ang apple daw, isang dozen na natin, ha? Uh, ay 12 pieces, di ba? So, ang gagawin natin dito, given 12 apples is 1 dozen, ang price daw, ang cost ng 1 dozen is 36x. So, 36x minus 60, yan yung ating 1 dozen, no? Or 12 apples. So, tinatanong ilan yung uh, magkano yung cost ng 1 apple. no? So, yan ay 12 apples, di ba? So, ang gagawin natin dyan, using the common monomial factor, alamin natin, yung 36x, no, so, 36x, paano natin i- ano yan? I-hanapin yung factor niya. So, yan ay merong 2 multiplied by 2, which is 4 na, multiply by 3, and multiply by 3, and the x. Kapag 2 times 2 times 3 times 3, yan ay 36, then x, and then yung ating 60 naman, no? So, yan ay 2 multiply by 2, no? And then multiply by 3, then 5, yan, no? So, 2 times 2 times 3 times 5, yan ay 60. So, ano yung common sa kanila? So, yan ay 2 
times 2 times 3 so 2 times 2 times 3 is 12 so ibig sabihin na ang common monomer factor sa kanila is 12 ang didibay natin sa 36x over 12 minus 60 over 12 so eh, anong mangyayari dyan no so i, I lowest term natin or i divide natin siya so yan ay magkakaroon ng uh, 3 x minus 5 no? so yung 3 x minus 5 ito yung cos ng apple bawat isa example number 3 no so ngayon naman the difference of two squares no problem solving uh, involving the difference of two squares so the square of number decreased by 169 is 0. Find the number. So, ita-translate natin siya no? as a mathematical. No? So, pag sinabing let x be the number. So, yung number dito, i-gagawin natin x. No? Para lang tayo may gusto na gato. Let x be the number. So, so decrease. Pag sinabing decrease, <coughs> less than or subtraction ito. No? Magsusubtract tayo dyan. Decrease by 169 is 0. Yung is dyan equal sa 0. Meaning, 169 square of a number. Pag sinabi square, squared to. So, x squared minus 169 equals sa uh, 0. So, ito yung ating polynomial. No? So, ngayon, <coughs> ipapactor natin to para makuha natin yung number. So, pag factor to, this is a difference of two squares. Pag, paano tayo nagpapactor ng difference of two squares? No, pag meron tayong difference of two squares, no? So x squared minus 169 para yung x squared minus y squared is equivalent to x plus y x minus y. So napag-aralan natin 'yan, no? So ang gagawin natin niyan, yung y squared diyan, yung 169. So yan ay pwedeng x squared minus 13 squared. So pwede natin siyang gawing x plus 13 then x minus 13. So, ayan. So, ipapaktor natin yan. Ano? So, zero property. So, magiging x plus 13 equal 0. Then, minus tayo ng 13 dito. And minus tayo ng 13 dyan. So, x is equivalent to negative 13. So, ganun din naman dito, no? So, x minus 13 equal 0. So, magpa-plus tayo dito ng 13. Tapos, plus 13 dito. So, x equals 13. So, yan yung factor niya. No? So, that's all. No? So, mag-iiwan ako sa inyo ng tanong. Uh, pakisagotan. Pakilagay yung answer nyo sa comment section sa baba. And that's all. No? So, salamat. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And then, pakipihita po yung notification bell para malaging updated sa mga susunod ko pang videos. No? So that's all, no? Good luck, soldier!